On August 3, 2022, the Office of the Special Prosecutor released a report on its investigations into alleged corruption and corruption-related offences involving the Labianca Group of Companies and the Customs Division of the Ghana Revenue Authority. The OSP's report, among other things, implicated officials of Labianca and the Customs Division of the Ghana Revenue Authority for their various roles which saw the company that deals in the importation of frozen foods benefiting from a reduction in the company's tax liabilities. One of the names mentioned by the OSP is Colonel Kwejo Damwa Retired, who was then the Commissioner of the Customs Division of the GRA. The OSP's investigations also found that a Deputy Commissioner of the Customs Division of the GRA, Joseph Educe, issued an unlawful customs advance ruling for importation made by La Bianca. The ruling was said to have been approved by Colonel Damwa Retired and did not appear to have been brought to the notice of the Commissioner General of the Ghana Revenue Authority. Colonel Damwa accused the OSP of targeting his person in an attempt to bring him down. He intimated that the report was hollow and actuated by malice. The two, feeling dissatisfied, asked the High Court to quiet the adverse findings made against them by the OSP through a judicial review. The court granted the prayers of the two and quite the adverse findings made against them by the Office of the Special Prosecutor. The court indicated that the OSP acted in excess of its mandate. The court concluded that the OSP is not a court of competent jurisdiction or a commission of inquiry to make adverse findings. It also prohibited the OSP from further investigating Colonel Damois Retired and Joseph Educe in respect of these adverse findings. A cost of 10,000 Ghana cities was awarded against the Office of the Special Prosecutor. But the OSP has been fighting back. It insists it acted within its mandate. The OSP says it rejects the decision of the court in its entirety. And in arriving at the findings of the matter, the Office of the Special Prosecutor did not constitute itself into a court or a commission of inquiry. They say the findings were based on investigations carried out by its office and the OSP is mandated by law to publish detected acts of corruption and its publication of the investigation report is in accordance with its statutory mandates. They say the decision of the court is extremely inimical to the fight against corruption and the administration of justice for a court to prohibit investigations and they will not permit this decision to stand. Reporting from the court complex, my name is Richard Kwejo for Joy News.